Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing about how to make submissions to Cargo. I'm going to go over different concerns of how to process your data so your submissions don't get rejected or declined by Cargo. That's all what we're going to do in this video. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so I'll be the first to be notified when I upload new coding videos. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's go. Okay, guys, this video is going to be a very short video. If you have been following me on this series on this Titanic data set prediction, this, this video is going to be the last video that I'm going to be making on how to make submission. I'll be going through a lot of steps to see here. When we have gone through a lot of steps, if you process stages, let's see here, these very stages I went through. Our first video we created, and this is the other stage we went through in the modeling phase. And today we are going to be discussing about how to make submissions to Cargo. How cool is that? We want to make our own personal submission, how to arrange our data set, how to arrange our submission sample so it don't get rejected by Cargo. And that's what all what we are going to be discussing in this video. Okay, the first step which we are going to go in over, we are going to be, as I said before, when you download your, your Titanic data set and extract it, you are going to be given TRIFY. Your train data, which we discussed earlier, uh, we are able to process it. Your test data, which we make prediction on, IOPS, gender submission sample. Okay. And that's what we are, we are going to be doing today. We are going to be arranging our gender submission sample in such a way we can submit it to Cargo. Okay. First, we are going to be calling, I want to be creating a data frame. We're going to call this submission, um, submission data frame. Okay. Say PD dot read. CSV gender mission the name of the file yes yes let me run this now and let me call my sub submission Data frame. I want this. You can see here. This is how our submission sample is going to look like. It's going to contain just two columns. One is the passenger ID, and the other column is the survive column. Okay. This is just a, a demo of how our survive column is going to look like. What we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to be replacing this survive column with our own column, with our own prediction which we made with this our test data set. This is the prediction which we made. Okay. Next step, which we are going to go in our world, we are going to be locking this um, passenger ID. To do that, I am going to be using pandas dot elock method. I'm going to call this submission sample photo. Oh, let me just call it submission data frame. Let me let me be consistent. Submission data frame dot E lock this is called, called integer lock i want to be locking all our rules and just the first column which is our passenger id okay let me run this now let me call my submission data frame dot add just check the add okay now see here it contains just it's not a series containing just one colon my passenger ID. The next stage I'm going to go in over now. I'm going to be I'm going to use pandas concat more concatenate. This is my passenger ID. This is my prediction which we made here. I'm going to use PD dot concat to do it. I'm going to store this in data frame four. I'm going to call PD dot concat concatenate. I'm going to concatenate in my um some mission data frame my submission data frame and my predictions okay then i want to concatenate my as this one i'm also going to ignore the index now index should be equal to true 
let me run this now and let me call my data from four okay i see here now i'll be able to concatenate my passenger id and my predictions next thing i want to do now i'm going to because carbon won't just accept it like this since the colon uh just just zero uh, the name of the colon is just zero and one i'm going to rename my colon now i'm going to call df4 dot colon equal to passenger i make sure it matches because if it don't match you are going to, go to decline your submission and also my um what is here again okay survived and then forgot it survived let me run this now and let me check my df4.ed run it again okay now you can see here my data frame has been rearranged as before as my submission sample see here passenger id um passenger id and my survive okay so the next thing I'm going to do, in, I'm going to be going over now. I'm going to, I'm going to be saving this my file since I can't just submit it like this. I mean, you can just see how it is now. I can't submit like this. I have to save this file. This, uh, this my um data frame with file in my local storage so I can make submission um through that. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to call. Let me call. I'm going to write this to a CSV file. I'm going to call df4. Dot .csv I'm going to call this uh, give the name of the file submission you can give it any name you want then I'm going to call it submission sample dot and make sure you put this file extension dot csv you can call it any name you want to call it but just give this file extension dot csv when I want this now it will be saved to my local storage okay, let me go to my local storage now and you can see here now that this is the file which I just saved submission sample. So when I go to the cargo site, this is the file I'm going to be submitting. And when I submit that, I'm going to see my score that I score. So this is what I want you guys to do for me. I want you guys to make your submission and tell me your accuracy score in the comment section below. Comment your accuracy score in the comment section below. And if there's any part of this video series from the processing the modeling and up to this stage of um, submission you don't understand just comment in the section below i will reply to your comment and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet don't forget to subscribe because i'll be releasing videos on data science projects and python programming okay guys thanks for watching